My name is Cedric and I am a second year BSc Politics and Economics student. This video is about my government department at the London School of Economics and Political Science. The government department is responsible for almost any course related to political science and theory. Our department recently moved to the Sense Building, which I am standing in front of. We are situated on the third and fourth floors of this new piece of swanky architecture. You see, we're often purely associated with economics, and that's understandable. We have so many Nobel Prize winners within the field itself, and the economics department at LSE is so freaking big. We even shortened the name to the LSE, even though we're called the London School of Economics and Political Science. However, we shouldn't dismiss the latter part completely. There was this gap that I thought existed between students within the department and the department itself. For the typical student, getting involved or promoting our department was always set on the back burner, which meant that the public perception was somewhat reliant on the department and not the students. So to change that, I set out to film some of the stuff that the department puts on and also interview some of my course mates to ask them about how they feel about their time in gov.ug. Personally, my experience so far has been pretty superb because in the government department, you're not limited whatsoever. I get to understand both the qualitative and quantitative aspects of political science research, but also gain a firmer understanding of economics at a university level. But don't listen to me, listen to what my friends had to say about their time in gov.ug. Um, my name is Jen Young. So I'm Angela. Hello, I'm Sumjita. Currently, I'm a second year undergraduate studying BSc Politics and Economics. And I'm doing Politics and Economics. And I'm a second year student studying BSc Politics and Economics at LSE. The government department offers a wide variety of courses in which you can study many facets of political science and political theory. I think definitely a course that I enjoyed the most was GB101, uh, political Introduction to Political Science. I think that's uh, probably because personally I'm more interested in the science part rather than the theory part. I think I would say GB248, which is um, Power and Politics, is a comparative politics module. And I always liked the comparative historical approach to politics. Personally, for me, my most favourite course so far has been the research design in political science. And so I'm focusing on region specific issues. For example, in second year, I have the opportunity to study politics and institutions in Europe. We also have a wide range of courses covering political philosophy or political economy. And yeah, there's something for everyone in the department. The main support that I received uh, was definitely from my academic mentor, John. Uh, he's really uh, supportive and helpful in guiding me through my summative works. Personally, I have received a lot of career guidance from my academic mentor, which has been really useful. Generally, the professors are really approachable, so you can just book an office hour. Whether you're curious about something or if you have any questions, they're just always they're ready and happy to help you. There are many ways in which you can get involved within the government department. I'm part of the UPR. I'm an associate editor with the Undergraduate Political Review, which comprises two teams. Uh, there's an editorial team and a research team. And part of my job as an associate editor is to review submissions and to bring them through the entire peer review process um, before publication. And essentially, we are an online platform that publishes under, um, so political research done by undergraduate students either at LSE or from other universities. Research cafes are very interesting because you get to witness the groundbreaking academic research that academics here in the department are undertaking and for me it's very inspiring because I'm interested in research myself. I'm of Indian origin and I came to the UK in 2009 during the peak of the financial crisis and watching the news really helped me understand how the global economy works and that's how I became more interested in economics. 
but as I watched the news more and more I also started getting more interested in current affairs and I'd say the 2014 Indian general elections were the penny dropping moment where I decided to study politics as well as economics because I'd already started looking at economic events through a political lens. There were a few pet therapy sessions that the department organised and other than the pets, which of course were lovely, uh, it's the opportunity to be able to interact with um, a wide range of students, both from within the department and from outside the department. When we had the dog therapy session, it was just wonderful to be surrounded by so many adorable creatures and a really de-stressing session as well. And I think the LSC government does a lot of these activities uh, in partnership with LSC life and well-being stuff. So if you're interested, there's definitely a lot of opportunities to get these kind of therapy sessions. I vividly remember the first breakfast experience that we had within our department where all the politics and economics students congregated for the first time. It was a really fun and eye-opening experience because I truly realised the sense of unity and diversity. We were all from such different backgrounds but we all congregated together for our love of economics and politics. And the good thing about the Department of Government is that there are many, many students from other departments and other disciplines who take government modules, um, politics modules, and just being able to exchange opinions with people from such wide academic backgrounds. Um, which is very inspiring and insightful. So there you have it guys. I think my friends enjoyed themselves as much as I do in this department, or at least it seems so. And I think we're really fortunate to be in gov.ug because apart from the new perks of having a new building this year, the gov.ug team genuinely puts on some really great events, or at least advertises the events for their students to access. Just the other day, for example, I was in the old building in the atrium gallery where I looked at an exhibit showcasing influential figures that have graced LSE sometime in their life. And on top of that, a few weeks ago, Armando Iannucci, the director of The Death of Stalin, came by for a personal screening and Q&A, which I think is really cool. We have this guy as well, teaching the introduction to political science. Professor Hicks is such an awesome figurehead and we're so blessed to have him in this department. And the reality is, there is a great government core at this university, but sometimes I feel like it might be left on the wayside. So if you pay close attention, you can definitely experience some awesome stuff that you might not have in other departments. Before I leave you guys with some more dog clips, a big shout out to my three interviewees, Dun Young, Angela and Sophita. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. On top of that, thanks to the gov.ug team, especially Natalie Paris and Christy Conway for just helping out a bit in the process. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos about life at LSC and I'll see you guys around. Peace.